good scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Two years ago, I believe I reported on this young brother out of Chicago by the name of Duty Low. And Duty Low was in a relationship with FTM Bay, also a female rapper. Now, back in 2021, she released some very horrible audio. I thought about putting it into this video, but it's so bad that I don't even want to put it on because it's a lie, right? And it's, it's against a brother, but she was coercing the young child to say that Duty Low had put some staples in his behind. Now, I just want you to, to think about that as a, as a brother um, who was trying to get his career together and some woman or some entity, somebody says something like that about you. How do you even, how do you even make a light of something like that? How do you even take that seriously? You know, you're a young man trying to get everything together and somebody comes out and they say something stupid like that against you. What do you do? What do you do? And this is exactly what happened to the young man. The young man loses a lot of opportunities. People are ruining his name in the industry. People are saying all sorts of sick things about the brother and the rest goes on, okay? Now, let me get back to what I'm doing here, all right? This lady then tried to apologize, then took the apology back, all right? So this is what, what happened. He took her ass to court, all right? Basically, he got a $1.2 million lawsuit against her. She failed to show up to court. She lost, all right? So basically... She did it to ruin his reputation. Now she owes $1.2 million. But here's something that I want to talk about. This young man's career might not ever be the same. All right. Because who remembers Chingy? When Chingy took a picture with Sydney Starr, the transsexual, that individual went out saying many things about Chingy that were not true. It ruined Chingy's career. It ruined Chingy's career. All right. That individual ended up apologizing to Chingy, saying that he was sorry. Do you know what though? The damage had already been done. What about this guy, the Bills punter here? He got kicked out of the league because some lady said that, you know what? Um, he did something to her and it was Matt Ariza, I believe. He was not even there. He had nothing to do with it. This guy still cannot get into the NFL. He was not even present. Okay. Not even present. The guy has not been able to earn a living since that time. Because of that, although we know he's a free state, a free agent. Now, is that fair? It's not fair. But this is what is going on. Now he has to file a defamation lawsuit against the accuser. She's ruined his career. And I'm telling you that 1.2 million, she don't have it. He'll never get it back. He'll never see that money. And this is the situation that's going on against men in America. These people are going out saying any goddamn thing about these people. They're saying anything that doesn't make sense about them, about guys lying, not telling the truth. And I want guys to understand, okay, when you deal with ladies who are, and I'm gonna say it, ladies who are not worth your time or ladies who, who will be considered to be trashy sort of, those kind of people are trashy people in general, you pay a price, man, a severe price. You don't think that you pay that price, but you do. And even you pay the price of just being guilty by association. That is what you, that's what you pay. We're gonna be honest and call it for what it is. You pay a price of guilty by association. All right, that's what we do. When you deal with them, that's what you do. And that's what's going on. And I want you to understand what you have at fault, guys. I want you to understand what you're gonna lose dealing with losers. I want you to know that sincerely, that even if you don't do anything, like let me just give you an example. I know people, I have a friend of mine. I'm telling you a story, a friend of mine, who basically decided that he was gonna go out one night, okay? Just gonna go out, 
have a ball, kick it. That was it, right? Okay. The guy goes out there and does, he kicks it. Do you want to know what happened? So let me tell you what happened. My other friend grabbed some girl's ass at the club. All right, this had to be like 2004, 2005. I just moved back from DC. Grab some girls behind. Now, upon grabbing the girls behind, the girl was like, look, what, what are you doing? All right, like the girl, the guy tells the girl, shut up, B. So she goes and gets her cousin. The cousin come, he has a twin. And so the cousin, cousin's like, yo, man, you know, quite naturally, defending his own family, which is what, which is what he's supposed to do. Yo, you know, you basically got your hands on my chick. So, you know, the dude was like, well, well, F you. So, so the guy, and, and remember, we're from Del Paso Heights, our, you know, my, my crew, right? So we, we way over there, you know, south area, border in Oak Park. So we really don't have no business out there. It's at the old Bobby T's. All right. The guy that goes out there with him, um, it was too many guys out there. So if they were ever to come out the club, they was going to get killed. Because, you know, now, you know, we, they're surrounded. So the guy calls some people to come up there and help get them some relief. So they call some people, those who will come up there shooting. The young man that stood up for his cousin ended up getting killed. So these guys go on the run. One of the other guys who had nothing to do with it decided to go on the run. He goes on the run. They get caught in Houston, Texas. The guy, luckily, he didn't go to jail. But the other guy did. Got 10 years. He wasn't a shooter, but he was responsible for the shoot, and he never told nobody who did it, which is his fault. But there you go. The other guy lost his job, lost a lot of different things, and just being associated with stupidity, with dummies. All right? Just, just, just dumb. Okay? Now, here's what I want to say. And I want to say this very sincerely if I can. The price you pay for dealing with people who are low class, it only indicates they're going to make you low class. If you're a low class person, you need to find out very quickly how you can become a high class person, how you can get around people who are going to, who are going to actually be serious in life. If you cannot discern that, man, are you going to have a, a rough time in life? Man, are you going to suffer? Man, are you going to be struggling? Man, are you going to be in a lot of trouble? So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shit Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you. Just the bell. We're out.